Hello, my name is Taryn Ellerington and I'm a Senior Associate in the Wills and Estates team at Russell Kennedy. Today I'd like to share with you what goes into the initial estate planning meeting with me. There are three crucial conversations I need to have with every client who comes to see me to make a will or even review their will, whether it be for the first time or the 50th time. The first conversation being, what do you own? Now this is important for two reasons. Firstly, you should have a full appreciation of what you can and what you can't gift in your will, and some things may surprise you. And secondly, it forms part of the will-making capacity test that we spoke about in my earlier video. And that is, can you express to me what you own, how you own it, and the value of what you own? The second conversation is what I call family dynamics. And this is where things get really interesting and quite personal as I get you to talk me through your relationships and connections and we really drill down into those people and those connections. Now this also forms part of the will making capacity test. But more importantly, it forces us to pause and consider the competing interests, vulnerabilities and needs of your potential beneficiaries. This is also where we discuss the legislation that allows certain categories of people to make a claim in your estate. Now it is never my intention to change your intentions, but it is my role as an estate planning practitioner to explain to you who could potentially make a claim in your estate and the kinds of things the courts consider if such a claim is made. Now a lot of clients ask me, what can we do to prevent these claims from being made? And unfortunately, the short answer is, Nothing really, as long as we have this legislation in place and if that person is able to prove that they're eligible to make a claim. But what we can do is help you to mitigate the risk and that is by helping you devise and put together the evidence explaining why you have done what you have done in your will and your executor then has the benefit of using that document should proceedings be commenced. The third and final conversation is what are your intentions? Now you can see how this conversation is so much more informed with the benefit of the first two discussions. As you can see, there is a lot to consider and digest when making a will. And our role is to educate you through that process and that is where the most value lies. If you require assistance with your estate planning, please do not hesitate to reach out to the experts at Russell Kennedy. My name is Taryn Ellerington and I'm here to assist with any of your estate planning inquiries. Thank you for watching.